Hey guys, it's Sunny here, back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a wireframe effect. And what it basically is, is it takes your 3D text and makes it all like wired and stuff. So I just got my text in, let me just write Averex Cinema. Oh yeah. Um, let's see, let's pick a... Let's pick a nice fat font. I'm gonna go with Molot. You guys could most likely get that at defont.com or or just Google it. And I'm just gonna do Avrex just because the word's smaller and uh, it'll be easier for you guys to see. So I'm gonna make the depth 100 so it's nice big block. Um, I'll just add some fillet caps. It makes it look a whole lot better. I'm not gonna really add add any color for this because well I'll show you why and then and the main thing right here you wanna click on display and it's gonna be on Gurod shading and you wanna change that to hidden lines and as you can see it looks very nice right now and and if you don't like that then then you could go over to just lines and I'll make it kinda of more of a blueprint type look so 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 like this one it's a little more more complex I would say but it's kinda harder to to like see so so I guess if, if you were if you modeled a building and you did this it would be a lot better but but for text I would say just stick to hidden lines cuz yeah it looks uh, really good but but, but uh, as you guys know now if you go render it it'll still come out as this and and to render it as this type of uh, uh, like the the wireframe uh, effect you just want to go over to effect and you want to put in cell renderer and basically right here um this is your background color uh i i mean yeah yeah it's going to be like your background color so so basically you want to make that black and then and your edge and your edge you want to make that white and you could do it the other way around too, but, but but like this way, I personally think it looks better. Now if you render it, look, look at that. Do not tell me that does not look sexy. That looks sexy, people. That is the shit, okay? The shit. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys how to basically import it into Photoshop. So, so you, you want to go over to Output, go to screen I mean web I mean film and video fuck I'm failing then you want to go over to HDV HDTV this is what, what I what I just click this even this is mainly like for for a video but I just click it just so I don't have to type in 1280 by 720 but yeah if you just want to type that in like for pictures that's all you have to do but if you're gonna render a video then then uh, basically do that then you want to go over to save um like you wanna, you wanna set like your say. Let's see. Um, Avrax text. Okay, and then you wanna set this to PNG. And then and you want to check alpha channel and straight alpha. That then you want to just basically exit and go to the angle you like. So let's see. I. Now I'm just gonna go with a type, a kind of straight one like this, a little. Um, and I'm just gonna render that out. And now I'm gonna open up my Photoshop. CS4 baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Piece of shit. Anyways, ah, uh, just give this an uh, hour to uh, open up. So. Just come back to your computer screen screen in an hour, and I'll continue making this tutorial. So, all right, bye, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and yeah, just come back to your computer screen in about an hour, and it should. Oh, okay. So we just time lapsed all that, and now look at this. Okay, so now you want to. Oops! 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 Oh my God! Oh my God! Now we, we want to go to the now you want to open up your file. 
And now we're just gonna wait another hour. Oh shit, okay, and as you can see, there you have it, peoples. And oh wait, why'd I do that? And now and you guys can just add a background, you know, whatever you want. Just add a background onto that. You can make it black. Looks very nice also. And as you can see, all the glitchy stuff goes away once you actually make it 100%. Well, well like, once, see, if you look at it like from here, it kind of looks all crusty, the lines. Well, on my screen it does. But, but, but like, when you actually save it and put it up as, as your YouTube background or, like, you know, wherever, then it should be good. And, and for instance... Well, well, basically that's the end of like the tutorial. So hope you guys liked it. But I'm just gonna show you guys a little something extra. Let's say this, like the yellow, was your YouTube background. This was your text. It's gonna look like that. And now I don't know about you, but like that doesn't look very good. So if you guys wanna just come over here and go to um screen or or let's see or oh uh, yeah yeah just go over to screen. I think I think that's good. And and this color I chose is very light, so so just let me choose a nice darker kind of blue color. And as you can see now, it is kind of transparent, and and you can see through it, and it matches with your background. So so like anything you had behind it, you would be able to to like see it through this. So it looks very nice like that. Um, and you could put on your YouTube background, it'll look proper. I actually did make one like this. So so, so yeah, you, you guys will. Like the next background you see on one of my channels, it'll have this effect. And yeah, you guys will know how to do it. So hope this helped and hope you guys found it entertaining somewhat. Also, go check out my YouTube channel, people. My new one, gaming channel, you know. You know, it's www.youtube.com slash Cinema. Okay, people? Averex Cinema. Right there. Just go there. It's pro. Pro shit. And no, it's not a... It is not a community channel. It is a team of YouTubers. Um, it's including me, obviously. And, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I'm not gonna keep rambling on. And that's a tutorial. Please like if you guys want more tutorials like this.